theoretical physicists have been fighting against each other for the last 20 years, and the fight is only getting louder and louder. Now they're actually uh, uh, um, uh, insulting each other on Twitter, which is the maximum, you know, that's the highest, the, the peak of academic performance. Um, <laughs> Why is that? Well, because string theory, which is supposed to be the next round of fundamental theories, it turns out that physicists have known for a while that both quantum mechanics and general relativity, which are the, the, big, the big ones in, in the moment in the field, are actually incomplete. And indeed, more than that, they actually give contradictory results when they are applied to the same kind of problems, like the physics of black holes, for instance. So we know that there must be something else, some other theory that it actually encompasses both or overcomes both or whatever. The big candidates in the field for a long time, for decades, has been string theory, which essentially says that the most fundamental things in the universe are not quarks, but these vibrating strings. Uh, that uh, uh, vibrate at different frequencies, and the frequency makes them appear like a quark or an electron or whatever it is. Great, it's a beautiful theory. Mathematically incredibly com uh, complicated because it builds on quantum mechanics, which is already the most complicated mathematical theory we have. Unfortunately for string theorists, we have zero evidence, empirically speaking, that the theory is correct. It does explain everything we already know, but you know, that's easy rightly speaking. So it doesn't contradict anything that we know, but it hasn't made any new predictions that are actually, in fact, empirically testable. Okay? So a lot of other physicists are getting increasingly nervous about this thing and say, you know, you guys need to stop doing this and do something else because this is not paying off. It's possible that we're looking at an interesting evolution in theoretical physics where either physicists are going to change the standards by which they actually test their theories and accept their theories, or uh, the field might split into a couple different components with different notions of what it counts as a scientific theory. That would be a big development. We'll see. I'll get back to you in 20 years. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.